Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more MLB 15, the show, Phillies franchise, and in this episode, the Philadelphia Phillies are going to be taking on the New York Yankees here at Yankee Stadium, and Chris Medlin is going to be taking the mound against Masahiro Tanaka, should be a great game, Tanaka being the Yankees ace, and Medlin only being the fourth man in the Phillies pitching rotation. So, um, definitely going to be a good match, I hope, as um, uh, Medlin is 5-2 and two with a 3.48 ERA, as Tanaka is 9-3 and three with a 2.63 ERA. So, very different statistics there, as uh, here we will take a look at the starting lineup for our Philadelphia Phillies, as Herrera will lead off all by Cody Ashey and Chase Utley, who are currently two guys to look out for as possible uh, all-stars so leading off the game will be Odubel Herrera who is going to line into right field for a base hit but I am going to take a break from commentating for a bit just to let you guys know that I finally did get a PS4 so there is going to be uh, one more franchise episode after this one and then we are going to be uh, the next episode is going to be uh, the PS4 episode. So, um, the next episode is on PS3, and then the next one will be PS4, but the only reason why I'm uploading the next one, the PS3 one, is because, uh, it was a very, you know, action-packed game, and I think you guys are going to love to see it, no matter what system it was on. So, it was definitely an interesting game, a lot of, uh, a lot of things happened, so... Stay tuned for that one. And then the PS4 game was just incredible. Uh, we actually took on the Dodgers in that game. And I believe it was... Um, it might have been Chris Medlin, actually. Who went... Was it Chris Medlin? I don't remember who it was. I th it was either Chris... I think it was Chris Medlin. Who went... Uh, who uh, pitched that game. Yeah, it was. It was Chris Medlin. And um, he took on Zach... Grinky. Yeah, Zach Grinky, I think. So, it was a very good game. Uh, so, definitely be sure to watch both of those. So, uh, Chris Medlin looking pretty sharp this game, as long as well as uh, Tanaka. So, both pitchers doing really well this game. But, um, so yeah, that's what's going on with the episodes. So, be sure to check them both out. And, um, oh, I, I forgot to do the... Uh, the like goal for this episode let's try and hit 10 likes on this episode i know we can do it so please be sure to leave a like uh for herrera striking out to end the top half <laughs> no i'm kidding but this one's going to be popped up towards the phillies dugout and ashy's going to have just enough room to make the catch so let's uh let's just take a break from the commentating as i will just let this game play out and let's just talk about you know how we're doing this season. I do think uh, there's a lot to uh, be worked on with this ball club, uh, both, uh, well, actually, no, more so just offensively. Um, and it's really hard to decide, you know, like what I know me not being the best hitter in MLB is a major factor, but I mean, it's not just that. There's also just some guys on this club that aren't that great. I mean, Nelson Cruz, uh, we have been trying to get rid of, and I'm not going to tell you guys if we have gotten rid of him or not. Wink, wink. But, um, so, uh, he has been a trade candidate, and as well as, you know, Visayedo, who hasn't been performing all that well. And there's also guys like, um, you know, the catcher, uh, our catchers haven't been doing that well, Aaron Sibia and Cameron Rupp. And then we have, you know, just our outfield. When you think of our outfield, you would think, wow, they have a pretty stacked outfield. You know, with Nelson Cruz and Wright, Odubel Herrera leading things off. You know, he, he was hurt for, you know, how long? And he has all these stolen bases. And then you have, um, well, we had Ben Revere. So when he comes back, he will definitely be back in left field. And then you also have, um, you know, Visayedo, who, you know, 
he should have a good bat. The only reason why I'm keeping him is because he's young. He's a B potential. And his contact's not that bad. I just don't know why he's not performing uh, to the top of his expectations. Same goes for Darren Ruff. Uh, I do believe, yeah, he is playing this game. Um, I believe, I think he's playing this game. Actually, yeah, he's DH this game, I think. So, you know, he is a guy who, he's not really young. I believe he's 28, but he's got, you know, 70-something power. So you figure he is something. And here's, you know, speaking of power, Chase Utley's going to get this one over the wall for a three-run home run. So now it is three nothing Phillies so against the Yankees. So Tanaka is actually going to uh, end up coming out of the game after that. So but anyway, and now throwing error. But um anyway, back to what I was talking about. So you know, I was asking I was actually uh, asking myself the other day like where who do I think will be on the team in 5 years? And obviously you can't, you know, think like, oh, um, you know, Mike Trout's going to be playing center field for us. You know, I mean, hey, it could happen. I highly doubt it, but it could. But um, with, you know, Herrera in center, I think he's a great guy to have at the top of the lineup, as well as Ben Revere. So when Ben Revere gets back, I don't know where he will actually be. He'll probably bat second or something like that, because uh, I do like Herrera at the top of the lineup. I don't know, actually. It depends whose contact is better. So, but they will both be first and second for sure. Um, and another issue I've been having is shortstop with Freddie Galvis. Uh, very disappointed with uh, how he started the season well and then just kind of slumped from there. And now we have uh, Cesar Hernandez playing uh, shortstop at the moment for us and he has been playing really well you know he's batting very close to 300 um unfortunately he won't be an all-star but um and who else do we have michael uh or michael franco i forget how you say his name michael it's something like that uh michael franco but yeah that's how you say it michael franco uh he's playing first for us at the moment there is one possibility that could happen and that's uh, Visayedo goes um, as she plays left field. Uh, as you guys know, I do have no problem changing players' uh, primary positions as long as it's not ridiculous. Uh, he here's my rule on changing a player's position. It either has to be their second position or they have to be playing that position in real life. So Cody Ashi is playing uh, left field in real life. And uh, so that's the only way I will change their primary position because I also want them to, you know, I don't want, you know, Cody Ashy, who's a third baseman, playing left field, and then he makes the all-star game and the, uh, you know, gold glove and silver slugger or whatever as a third baseman. You know, it's, it's dumb. So that's why I changed their uh, primary position. And second position as well. So... But usually the only thing is, you know, there is, like, Cesar Hernandez, whose second position is, like, he is a second baseman. I haven't changed his position yet because uh, most likely he's going to be playing second when Utley goes. And I have a feeling Utley's going to be done after this year. So, see, I don't know what I'm going to do with Hamels either. I have been looking to trade him. Because we have a stacked pitching rotation. We are going to be fine pitching-wise uh, next year. Our pitching, it's more our bullpen that's a concern for me. Closer is my biggest concern because uh, Ken Giles hasn't been doing that well. He's had a couple of good saves or good appearances, but sometimes he just really blows the game for us. He's like a 2009 Bradledge. <laughs> but um, uh, the bullpen has been performing pretty well you know I think the only guy's not doing so hot is like Seth Razine but um aside from that it, I mean and the offense it, we've been a pretty good team I mean our best players offensively are probably Odubel Herrera, Cody Ashey, and Chase Utley at the moment um 
but aside from that, I really do like what I have on this team, and I, uh, pitching wise, I'm not worried about with our uh, farm system. Uh, in fact, I have been thinking about calling up uh, Severino Gonzalez. He's only a 64 overall, but I think his record's like nine and four with a 2.6 ERA. It's something like that. It's he he has a really good record and a really good ERA. But anyway, Ken Giles is coming into this game, so um, he is going to give up a three-run home run to Mark Teixeira. So, speaking of which, with the blown saves and the closer, uh, you know, he completely just let this game go, and Medlin definitely deserved that win. He pitched one hell of a game for us, almost through a complete game, but we took him out. But Aaron CB is going to uh, lead off the inning. So yeah, that's uh, basically my uh, what I think is going on for this team. So pitching wise, I'm not worried about uh, in the minors. I think we have plenty of players that could be major league starters. Uh, Aaron Nola is definitely going to be an 80 overall in the next two years. That's for sure, uh, at least. Um, and you know, with Chris Medlin, he he has definitely performed higher than expected. Matt Schumacher's pitching great, so is Cole Hamels. But I do want to get rid of him for offense. I don't want any more pitching from teams. You know, I have so many, maybe a reliever. But, um, yeah, I just have way too many, like, starters in the bullpen in, like, double A AA and triple A. Even Chad Billingsley is a starter, and you know, with a good ERA. But uh, this was a great play right here. We got very lucky on this play, and luckily we were able to turn the double play. So not sure why I threw home uh, on this play. Uh, very uh, stupid to do so, but we still got lucky and got the out. And now Cruz is going to hit this one into the gap in right center, and it will be caught out there by Ellsbury. Next batter up is going to be Darren Ruff, who is going to hit this one to second. And he is going to be out. Following him is Visi, uh, Visi, oh my God, I can't even say his name, Visiedo, and he is going to ground out to end the inning. Seth Ruzine still in the game. He is going to strike out. Um, I believe that was Ellsbury, but I did fast forward a little bit here because just to shorten the episode. And Michael Franco is just going to get this one out. So two outs now for Aaron Cb, and he's going to go down swinging. So we go to the bottom of the twelfth. And this one is going to be grounded in the center field for a base hit. And now a bunt will be laid down now. And the throw to first will be in time. However, the winning run is on second base for the Yankees. And Seth Ruzine still in the game. And this one's going to be hit into center. And this ball game is going to be over. As the Phillies are going to lose this one, sadly, 4-3. to three. And I don't think you can blame anyone for this game aside from Ken Giles. Um, yes, yeah, Seth Ruzine did get the loss and didn't pitch all that well. But I think Ken Giles is the one to blame for this loss. Uh, you know, had he come, at, come in to get the uh, save, you know, Chris Medlin would have walked away with a 3 uh win in eight and two thirds but that is going to do it for this episode uh, i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and the next episode will be the last episode on ps3 and then we head to ps4 so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next episode peace